All right, guys, this is insane. There is so much to go over regarding Thomas Lockley, Yasuke, the African Samurai novel, Assassin's Creed Shadows, so much to cover. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, try to watch this all the way through because I promise you, you're going to want to see how this ends. This is absolutely insane. Tons of breaking news about this today. Let's just go ahead and get started with this petition right here, which we've talked about in the past on change.org, which has got about 92,000 signatures at this point now. Japanese, you know, gamers, people who have, are indigenous to Japan, people who respect and love their country and their culture are sick and tired of this re uh, revisionist history where they're just essentially trying to tell you that, oh, you know, Yasuke was always the first black samurai and he did all these important things and he was a huge figure in Japanese history. Well, a lot of that was based on the book by Thomas Lockley. And of course, Thomas Lockley, we're going uh, to get into him in a minute. He has been caught red-handed editing Wikipedia pages, the Encyclopedia Britannica, you name it, all sorts of stuff. Don't forget as well, on the video game side of things with Assassin's Creed Shadows, there has been a lot of stuff behind the scenes that has just not set well with a lot of people. Namely, the fact that they put in hip-hop music for Yasuke, the fact that they got architecture wrong, cultural references wrong, uh, I believe they used Chinese lettering at one point instead of Japanese, all sorts of stuff. Even stealing a katana from One Piece to use as a display model at the Fan Expo in Paris. All sorts of garbage, just absolutely terrible. Now we've seen them actually have people trying to bring this before their legislature. This Senator Hamada, uh, Hamada T Satoshi has decided he's going to bring a lot of this about Ubisoft before their diet and basically call them out on it for Ubisoft essentially trying to change Japan's culture and history right before our very eyes. Uh, before we go any further, guys, I just want to direct your attention to this right here, this Kickstarter that friend of the channel, John De La Rose, has going on for his graphic novel, The Hidden Emperor, which is a sci-fi graphic novel. It's set in a world kind of like Star Wars or Warhammer 40K. And what's great about it is it's going to give us alternatives to things like, you know, Warhammer 40K, which has gone completely woke. It can actually make real changes in the culture. If you back it on Kickstarter, you won't regret it. John does fantastic work. Link is in the description down below. So this article here from That Park Place says, Japanese political aid indicates Assassin's Creed Shadow's debacle could escalate into diplomatic incident. And so there are a bunch of screenshots from Grums from Learning the Law on Twitter that we're going to look at. This one here says, The Assassin's Creed Shadow's issues with Yasuke and the discredited historian Thomas Lockley have exploded into a potential diplomatic incident. Letters are being sent with questions to the Japanese Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. While the government have not taken action yet, they are waiting for final release of the game to decide and there is mounting pressure in Japan to address the issue with Ubisoft portraying false information to Japanese children. And of course, you can see this screenshot here from the video that's down the replies uh, down in Grum's thread here. It says, it's become quite large and there's a possibility that it could escalate into a diplomatic issue. This is getting very real. It's been pointed out that Mr. Lockley, associate professor uh, at Nihon University, wrote a book about Yasuke's story, which he created from his own imagination and spread the contents of the book as historical fact all over the world, and that this is a movement to make a fabricated history the truth of the world without many Japanese people even knowing it. And this is what a lot of people are saying. Absolutely not. You are not going to come here, change our culture, and then try to convince us that something is the way it's always been when we know better. This says, question two, Assassin's Creed Shadows, a new game being developed by the French game company Ubisoft, is set in the Sengoku period of Japan, and ya uh, Yasuke appears as the main character. This game company has been taken over by people of the political correctness movement, and from the pre-release interview footage, the disrespect for Japan is blatant. The content of the game has been partially released, as also has been distorted and grossly disrespectful of Japanese culture, history, and Japanese people. And then it goes into the examples. So... This is just getting absolutely nuts. And of course, you can see another screen cap here from a video saying, uh, Nippon Journal covered the Assassin's Creed issue. I'm glad that Professor Naito was able to provide a thorough explanation at the stage when all the information was available. Thomas Lockley, an associate professor at Nihon University, falsified the English Wikipedia page by quoting his own book before it was released and sent out a false image of Yasuke as an African samurai to the world. This was discovered by the political correctness community and a false history of Japan is being created and spread around the world in order to dilute the guilt of the history of racial discrimination by white people. Essentially what they are getting to here is that this book tries to perpetuate a belief that essentially um, the black people that were enslaved going back hundreds of years 
was actually something that I assume Japanese people did instead of white people is, I believe, the way that they are interpreting this. I'm not going to speak to whether or not that is the intent behind it, but boy, if that's true, that is absolutely insane. Learning the Law says things are escalating quickly in Japan now. Broadway plans to distort Japanese history by creating a Yasuke musical titled The Black Samurai. Meanwhile, Tokyo Weekender, Japan's top English lifestyle magazine, is calling out Thomas Lockley. This man and Ubisoft are done for. And this article here says backlash over claims that black slaves were popular among feudal lords in Japan. And this is what we were just talking about. On Thursday, Variety revealed that Joanne M. Hunter, the choreographer of School of Rock and Bad Cinderella, has been hired to direct the upcoming musical Yasuke the Black Samurai, which is expected to open in 2026. With few historical documents on Yasuke, the story is likely to be chiefly based on the words of Thomas Lockley, which is not good. As we know, there is a lot of issues trusting this man. An associate professor at Nihon University, he co-authored the first book in the world about Yasuke in 2019. But how much of what he wrote about the man dubbed the first non-Japanese samurai is true? Not a lot according to netizens. The English author has received widespread criticism, particularly in the past few days, and has been reportedly deleting his Facebook page. Uh, the biggest backlash has been against his claim that several feudal lords in Japan were happy to make use of black slaves. There have been close to 200,000 posts on the subject. The rumor that black slaves were popular among Japanese daimyo needs to be properly refuted and stamped out, otherwise it could cause big problems later, tweeted one user. And again, this is what I'm talking about, this absolute blatant disrespect for the Japanese trying to essentially cast um, other people's sins and guilt onto them. He goes on to say an article reveals how Yasuke's revisionists have spread lies globally. This highlights how many historical records are altered daily by so-called historians and authors claiming expertise. Thankfully, Lockley made mistakes. Kudos to Japanese with Naoto, which is again linked in the description down here in this uh, tweet, uh, in his Twitter thread here, this person uh, on their website. And it says, why Tatori Tom is believed to be Thomas Lockley. And then they go through all the proof. We've covered this Tatori Tom stuff before with, again, Thomas Lockley uh, using a pseudonym essentially to edit things on Wikipedia to suit the narrative that his book portrays. Now we're going to get in some good stuff here. From an article earlier today that says, Sad news, Thomas Lockley deletes all online accounts and flees Nihon University to begin investigation. This is from an account called Tweetsoku uh, on Twitter. They cover a lot of breaking news in Japan, some, you know, global stuff. And then they have this article from today. Now, this is the one we're going to really focus in on because this is huge if this is all verifiable. It says right here at the top, let me go back up here. Nihon University erases Associate Professor Lockley's resume. NHK deletes program over Assassin's Creed issue. Now, again, we'll get into the NHK thing in a second because it's actually a uh, media company, essentially, as I understand it. It says, Nihon University Associate Professor Lockley, who spread the ridiculous idea of Yasuke and Japanese people were the leaders in slavery to the world in the Assassin's Creed problem, has deleted all his online accounts and fled. NHK, the, again the media company, is also taking his arguments seriously and making a program about them. Will this turn out to be the first case of fever since Mamoru Samurogachi? Uh, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that's a cultural reference I don't understand. Surprisingly, NHK also produced a program called Black Samurai, Yasuke, the African Samurai who served Nobunaga. As of today, the program is no longer available for viewing. And sure enough, when I went to NHK's website and searched for it, I cannot find it anywhere. Professor Lockley seems to have written a fictional novel about bra uh, black samurai, but he sold it overseas as historical fact. Professor Lockley's academic paper is 100% fiction, so did Nihon University hire him as an associate professor based on his fictional achievements? Naturally, some people are wondering how Professor Lockley was able to get a job at Nihon University. It would be one thing if Yasuke was black and just a subordinate of Nobunaga, but if things continue as they are, the story that white people were against black slavery but Japanese people were happy to use them could spread. And again, if you go to Nihon University and you try searching for any reference of Thomas Lockley, I was able to find two PDFs, but they are both in Japanese, and I will have to take the time at some point to try and translate them. I have no idea if these are even academic papers involving Thomas Lockley at all, if, it, if either one of them has to, anything to do with his employment there. No clue. But this is absolutely huge. The backlash that we are seeing both politically, both from the universities, the media departments, everything going on right now so share your thoughts down below i'm going live like right now any minute playing some more elden ring hopefully you guys can stop in let me know what you think about all this and i will catch you on the next one
All right, and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for being here. I do have two channels, Minimal Effort Podcast, as well as my gaming channel. I do have a Twitch and Kick for my gaming channel. We do live streams over there occasionally, maybe once a week. And then if you are in the market for a new PC, make sure to check out Meta PCs. Click the link I have down below. Use code TBO at checkout for a special discount. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.